Hello YouTubers, Kim here from Kim's Crochet and Knits. I changed the name to Kimber, or from Kimber and Crochet and Knits to Kim's Crochet and Knits. Um, a little bit of a smaller name, a little bit more, I think, easier for everybody to remember. Easier for me to remember. Anyways, okay. <laughs> um, what do I got here? Do, do, do. All right, let's flip this around. I'm using my handy dandy uh, clipboard that I had won in my giveaway from Crystal's Crochet and stuff. I figured I might as well use it. I know it has a magnet on the back. It's for the fridge, but I'm using it today in my video. So my first FO is a Cyrus top by Shandy at Expression Fiber Arts. You guys had seen me wear this actually in my fine dining uh, video. Um, I love it and it fit so well actually it was a little bit big here but honestly it fit pretty good I might make another one but a little bit smaller I'm just skinny I'm, I don't like it but I'm skinny anyways okay so yeah I'm gonna make another one of these I don't know what color I'm, I might do I might do like a black and white or maybe just all black but if you look up here you can see that the top see the top here has the split sleeve so it's got like the cold shoulder thing going on here and then it's attached here it was a very easy pattern it's a free one well she does a tutorial uh, Shandy at Expression Fiber Arts on her channel there okay so oh my fiber shawl I finished it you guys I finished it. I'm very, very happy. Virus meets granny shawl. Ooh. Uh, oh my god, I can barely. But isn't that amazing? I haven't, I haven't, I don't know if you block these or not, but I haven't. That's probably why it's uh, a little bit wrinkly, but I love it. And this was in the colorway Pixie Pop. Um, the sweet rolls that you buy. And uh, yeah. So this will be on the back of my chair for that one. Ooh. Let's get it up there. Oh my god. Ooh, my my breath. Okay, so those are my two FOs. Now let's go on with my mountains of whips. I got another virus shell. But this one I'm doing with Mandela yarn, the thinner yarn. Isn't it beautiful so far? It looks so much, I think it looks diff well, it looks different because this one's just a virus shawl. That one's virus meets granny. So I'm using this. I can't wait to get into the gray and the white. And this is a number three, um, Mandela Baby. And it's in the colorway Magic Moon. So that's something I'm working on. And this I started last night. I wanted to try using some of that Premier yarn that I had ordered. I think I have the tag here for it. I do. Okay. Yeah. The colorway Violet. So Cotton Fair. I love Cotton Fair. You guys know I love my Cotton Fair. That's what this was made out of, actually, was the Cotton Fair. So this one's a wrap. I haven't done a wrap yet. Just like, a, you know, a wrap. Not like the triangle. So here it is. Isn't it pretty? So I'm going to make it really long. Like, really, this is like the like the side of it probably flip it around or whatever but it's more of a wrap so it's gonna be like something you actually wrap around you all the way around I think this color is just amazing so that's in the premiere cotton fair and I'm using a size 4 size 4 Susan bait hook for that and that pattern there is done by Lencia 
It's spelled L-E-N-Y-S-E-A. She's here on YouTube. I'll link the description below for that pattern. And these other ones, the virus is by Fiber Spider, and so is the, everybody should know that anyways, that knows anything about the YouTube channels and who's got what. This is Fiber Spider, all the way. Okay, so, oh, my t-shirt yarn. Okay, I had t-shirt yarn sent to me from Rose Legs Crochet. This, oh my God, here is my rug. Yeah. Isn't it awesome, you guys? I think it's awesome. So I did the red, obviously the blue, the red, and blue again. And all I did was used half double crochet. I used a size 10 millimeter, which is an N hook. I'm pretty sure it was. Yes, it was. And yeah, half double crochet. And I didn't follow a pattern. I just did it as long as I wanted this way. It was long and then I worked my way this way. So, sorry, I can't link the pattern because anybody that crochets can do it. You chain the length that you want or the width, whatever length, whatever, and half double crochet. At the ends I did two chains up, turn the work, and worked half double crochet all the way back. And that was that for that. I got a lot of works in progress going on, you guys. But anyways, okay, so I went to Michael's. You know I did. And I got this. Oh, it's gonna it's called Metallic Lux, which I had got a black one in another video. This one's like a pink, like a baby powder pink, which I love. And the colorway is pearl. And it is honestly the shimmer and the shine on it. You can't see it here, but it's pearly. So I thought I would match this one up with the black one I got. I don't know where it is right now, if you can imagine. <laughs> probably have it packed away somewhere but anyways I'm going to match this one up with the black one I have and I think it'll turn out I think then I got these two I got some more of these mandarin minis Maria the other day from Maria, Maria quilts she kind of reminded me of them so I have a shawl that I'm going to do in these colors so I got two of the same here Two of the blue, two of the yellow, and two of the orangey red. Ooh, it's like a mango, I would say. It's not showing up right there. It's actually darker. But anyways, so what do you guys think of those colors? Woohoo! They're all going to be in the shawl. So anyways, it's going to be a knitted one. <clears throat> so I got those. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. I got, <laughs> I got, um, I'm making, also, I'm doing the Earth Afghan by um, the Crochet Crowd. He's doing a crochet along right now. And here it is so far. Here it is so far. Now we got to wait a whole another week, you guys, just so we can carry on. So there it is. Ooh. Now I needed a third color. So I got the purple, this beautiful blue. Then I needed another color for next week. So I went and got this color. I know what kind of, you guys are probably thinking it's this, but this is actually the blue. So there is a difference. And I think they'll look amazing together. So there's these three that are going in my 
afghan. Ooh, aren't they pretty? And they're all the Super Saver Ombre. And Zsa Beaches, April, gave me the idea to use ombre yarn. She's using ombre yarn, but she's using different colors. So yeah, those are, that's my Earth Afghan so far. Ooh, I'm so excited about it. So anyways, besides that one, I went and started his floral, flora afghan. I'm trying to use up some of the hundreds of yarn pieces I have, or little bits of yarn. So I got this one for my first one. It's the first square. I love the colors in that. And then... Here's another one. This one I had just finished. They're all crinkly right now. Then we got this one. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. So I'm going to do his other one tonight. I'm pretty sure I have to do a few of, a couple of these ones and maybe one more of these ones. I know you have to do doubles of a couple of them. So those are what I got going on, you guys. That's what is going on in my little world. Oh, I forgot about these. I picked these up on sale too. The Bernat Softy Baby Cotton in the colorway Sand. I got two. These are a number three, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. I am just loving the cotton yarns right now because it's summertime and making um, tops. But I do have one more thing to show you. Just hold on. Okay, so I'm doing a knitted wrap already by um, Shandy over at Expression Fiber Arts. And I chose to use my hand dyed fingering weight yarn. Isn't that beautiful? I don't even know how I got that, but I think I do. But anyways, yeah, here it is. I just started it. It's called the Linen Stitch. I don't know if you can, it's gonna focus in. But I'm using my Knitter's Prides. And yeah, so I haven't even named this, this uh, yet. I don't know, maybe Midnight Mauve, Midnight Purple. I don't know. But those are what I got on my hooks and on my needles. And I want to do a couple shout outs. So, shout out number one Sunburst Crochet. I just started following her um, maybe three weeks ago. Um, really nice person. She does really beautiful work. She does awesome reviews. And she's done a few giveaways. Um, she's gotten a bit of YouTube flack from people, but she's not letting that get her down, which I really like. So, um, yeah, Sunburst Crochet. I'll put a link to, the, to her channel in the description below. Then we got Sin's Crafting World. I like, I love Sin. She's from Canada here, too. She's actually only a few hours away from me, I think. And uh, she does diamond painting, which I love diamond painting. She does crochet. She does all kinds of little things, crafts. So I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. Then I got Yarny Cat Biblo Bibliophile. Yarny Cat Bibliophile. Her name is Beth. Um, she's looking to get to 100 subscribers. So if some of you beautiful subscribers could go on over there and show her some love, that would be great. I'll put her uh, link in the description below. Her name is Beth. If I didn't say that, I'm pretty sure I just did, but I'll say it again. And then this one I found recently as well, The Yarn Closet. She is a beautiful soul. Um, I've only watched a couple of her videos. She did have, I think it was her mom or her grandma in the one video. Very, very cute little lady. Um, I am going to catch up on some more of her videos. So that's the yarn closet. 
and I will put all the links down in the description below for all you beautiful people. And until next time, that's what I got on my hooks, and that's what I got going on. And remember to keep you guys' eyes open because I am going to have another giveaway here soon. So till then, bye bye